Uh, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Rocket Vlogs. Today we got something kind of special and hopefully tomorrow we've got something even more special and we actually get uh, a chance to fly this. Sitting in front of me is what very well could be the very last Cosden M2240 there is. I like to think not. There's got to be some somebody sitting on them. I'm sure somebody's got something somewhere but but this is the only one we know of. So uh, this was supposed to be my dad's level three motor. It's 10 years ago this year. That's insane. This is a great look into the uh, <laughs> the great mind of Dr. Frank Cosden. <laughs> the, um, everything's just a little, a little funky with his motors and they all came in Ziploc bags and had handwritten Sharpie stuff all over them. Who Frank has since passed away and then our friend Justin Palmer has also since passed away and he did all of this writing. Um, we got this half of this motor from him and the other half from Ken Allen at Performance Hobbies 10 years ago. Yeah, as much as old rocket motors are fine to fly, we still feel like we're gambling a little bit with a somewhere between <laughs> 10 and 15 year old motor. Hey, at least the rocket's the same age, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to Baldwin's Rock, and we simulated this a long time ago, but I want to say it was like 15,300. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's, it's up there. So tomorrow's supposed to be cloudy. It's supposed to be partially cloudy later through the afternoon. So hopefully, la like last time it was partially cloudy was when my Ballistic M happened, and it was perfect after, because that, that, that almost went 20, and we could see it from the ground. So hopefully we get one of those partially cloudy kind of days tomorrow. Um, we have the V2 pretty much ready to go. It's not going to fly. Unfortunately, we have the wrong forward closure. Maybe in another 10 years, we'll have a chance to fly this. All right, and back to the V2. After assembling my CTI M1675 Pink in an Aerotech 75 6400 case, all I had to do was slam the Aeropack 98 to 75 millimeter adapter on and put the thing in the rocket. After that, it was a simple, typical matter of putting together an electronics bay. For this flight, I used a MissileWorks RRC-3 and a Stratologer CF. I set the RRC-3 as my main altimeter, with the main altitude deployment set at 1,200 feet and the Stratologer at 900 feet as a backup. After that, it was time to put the charges together, put them in the rocket, and pack everything up as if it were ready to fly. I put the charges in the tip of the nose as we did with ground testing, especially since the backup charge was firing below a thousand. That's a pretty big parachute to expect to fill with air in a short time frame. After properly packing and prepping everything, it was time for one final weigh-in. 46.6 pounds on the pad. Alright guys, it's go time. V2 is locked and loaded. We got a tracker and I just got to put these shear pins in it. Take it all the way out there. We're not allowed to drive out here, so I get to walk the full M distance with a 50 pound rocket. <laughs> yeah. But uh, <clears throat> put the GoPro on the side and the mount's mad questionable. So hopefully that comes back. The mount broke and that was the only solution I brought instead of the camera shroud on the iris, which worked perfect. I should have just accepted that I needed to put big holes in this rocket because it worked perfect. Don't fix what isn't broken. But anyway, let's fly it. Expecting around 2,945 feet. This is the black and blue rocket on pad B2. Yeah, don't you actually get that? All right. Uh, black and green. We have continuity. Pad B2 is going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to move over to pad C1, where Shane Harris has his Red Max, an AMW kit, 4 inches in diameter, 40 inches tall, weighing about 8.5 pounds. This is going up for an L2 CERT attempt on a J500, expecting about 3,500 feet. It's got a Stratologer and RRC2 Plus on board to deploy the main chute at 1,100 feet. This is the red and black rocket out on pad C1. Alright, we've got continuity. Pad C1 going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wow. This pad there with that yellow and pink rocket, that's Braden Carlson's. Schnooky Pootsie. Schnooky Pootsie, <laughs> the V2. It's 8 inches in diameter, 6 feet tall, weighing about 48 pounds. 
going up on a CTI M1075 pink. 1675. 1675 pink. My handwriting sucks, I know. It's got a GoPro on board, missile works, altimeter, and a perfect flight strata logger with a main set of 1200 feet. I'm gonna, this is the first flight of the rocket. I'm going to call it heads up. Uh, we're expecting about 9,000 feet. So if everyone could come out and take an eye on this one. This is going to be an M1675. All right, we have continuity on pad D, yeah, D1. That's that pink and yellow rocket way out there. We're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Oh. How did I not see that one coming? There goes the backup. Three more miles. That's nice and slow. Maybe we'll land right on top of the hill. Let's see if it stays on this side. No, not on this side. Okay. Yeah, he's like just on the other side. Yeah. Didn't even eat the tracker. We walked right to it. Yeah, it conveniently landed right on this barbed wire fence line, but the fence is low enough right here. It's uh, no, look at how close. Uh, just to be annoying, <laughs> the shoot is literally like four inches from this fence line. I gotta go see if that camera's still attached. I'm just afraid of sinking down here. Another L2 cert attempt. Expecting around 4,500 feet. I believe this is his L1 rocket. So we're reusing it for L2. And we have a shoot release with a main set at 800 feet. All right, we've got continuity. Pad B2 is gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful up. Where Rex Merritt has his mad cow to mock. 2.6 inches in diameter, about five feet tall, weighing about four pounds, going up today on an L1000. We've got RRC2 altimeter on board. We're expecting 15,000 feet with the main chute at 800 feet. Cloud deck's looking pretty good for this, so we're gonna go for it. All right, we got C1. We have continuity on pad C1. You ready, Rex? I am. Alright. Alright, pad C1 going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shoot release with a main set of 400 feet. 
I've got continuity. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Continuity on pad B2. We're gonna fly it in five, four, three, two, one. Looks like somehow, even with the charges and the tip of the nose, I might have upheld the tradition of having no paint main shootout. Oh no, it is out. Hey, look at that. It's only the second time the mains ever come out on this rocket. That was a good weekend of launching. Successful V2 M1675, 8,400 feet. The three inch Punisher has a new record altitude of 12,300 feet. Everything came back. Everything, parachutes came out, landed nice and soft. Everything was fine. Didn't even have to walk too far to get the three inch after it went, uh, you know, 12,000. I helped a buddy of mine track his L1000 flight. We actually wound up walking several miles for that one, and we got some cool new stuff, including a timer for the project that I'll be flying at LDRS, which is now going to be 
the next series of videos we'll be seeing. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I didn't explain really that I was getting the Punisher ready after, or that it was even the next day of a launch or anything like that, but been running on little sleep and been in the sun all day for the past couple days. So, I just decided to whip it together and get it ready to go. You guys have seen me prep electronics and build motors and stuff, so... Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I'm excited for LDRS, and then we've got some uh, pretty cool things coming, but I also have a really, really big project that we'll be starting to make videos on, hopefully fairly soon. If you've been uh, on my Patreon or you were involved in the live stream I did recently, you know what the project is. Don't spoil it, anyone. But uh, if you want to know what the project is, it's patreon.com slash rocketvlogs. All the behind-the-scenes data gets posted there. Additionally, there's merch available at rocketvlogs.com if you want to help support the channel. The shirt right now that'll be out until the end of June, I think I said. I can't remember entirely. Uh, anyway, it just says I literally burn money in the eyes of rocket. If you fly rockets, uh, you'll, you'll feel it in a special way. I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.